Harry and Meghan under fire as Queen to stripped Andrew's title setting clear precedent. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have set a clear precedent for the Queen to follow with Prince Andrew, a royal commentator claimed. Prince Andrew's currently undergoing a civil sex assault case with accuser Virginia Giffer. Ms. Jufri is suing the prince claiming he sexually assaulted her when she was 17 and a minor in some U.S. states. The Duke vehemently denies the allegations but his ongoing legal struggles have prompted speculation on whether he should maintain his titles and position in the future. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliam spoke about the Duke of York's titles on The Jeremy Vine Show. Mr. Fitzwilliams said, I would have thought in the circumstance of Andrew losing his title, we're looking perhaps at a precedent which is very different but might work. When Harry and Meghan stepped down as senior working royals, they were allowed to keep their HRH titles, but they weren't allowed to use them. I would add however, he was attached to 230 charities, he still has links with a large number of charities, there are these military links, and there is no question whatsoever what everyone would think that these royal links, if he lost the case, would be inappropriate. He continued, the problem is if he wins the case, here's the difficulty, you've had a car crash interview that so many people have saw, where he showed absolutely no empathy to the victims of Epstein at all, you've got the fact that he was not only friends with Epstein but now the convicted sex trafficker Ghislaine Maxwell. You've also got the fact that so far he hasn't cooperated with the FBI, at least reportedly not, when they're trying to trace Epstein's accomplices. Prince Andrew has been the Duke of York since his 1986 wedding to Sarah Ferguson, when the Queen gifted the title to her second-born son. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle still style themselves as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, despite stepping down from the royal family. The Prince of Wales included his youngest son in his essay on climate change. In a somewhat surprising move, Prince Charles name checked his younger son Prince Harry in his recent essay on climate change for Newsweek, even as the Queen left the Duke of Sussex out of her Christmas broadcast. For Jack Royston, royal correspondent for Newsweek, this decision is significant. Prince Charles giving Prince Harry credit for his work on climate change shows he does not want Oprah to be the end of their relationship, Royston tells Marie Claire, referencing the Duke and Duchess of Sussex explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021. A lot has happened between them and it must have been very hard for the Prince of Wales to hear some of the things his second son has been saying about him publicly. From total neglect to genetic pain to my family literally cut me off financially, Harry gave his father both barrels in 2021, Royston continues. But the royal expert doesn't think the king-in-waiting wants to open a further rift between himself and his second son. However, the point when Charles becomes king is nearing, he says. Such clear and public praise for Harry shows he wants to move past the acrimony and look to the future, not the past. The Queen twice recently praised the contributions of different members of the royal family to the fight against climate change without mentioning Harry. Charles, clearly, feels more comfortable ensuring his son gets the credit for the work he has done and is not forgotten, in spite of everything. Although it's hard to know what exactly the Duke of Sussex's relationship with his father, and with other relatives in the UK looks like since he moved to California with his family, it has been understood to have become strained in recent months.